Hello everyone, hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. I know it's been a while since I posted a video here on my channel, but I was a little bit busy after new year. And here I am. Thank you for your support and your warm messages on Instagram and Facebook. So this is gonna be a small and fast tutorial just to talk about how to make a stage light effect in Corona Renderer. I was working on a karaoke scene and I needed some models for the stage and all models I found was paid model for a big price. So I made a low poly stage light projector and I'll talk about how I made the material for it. So let's start. So this is the scene that I was working on and you can see the stage light here and this is the light effect here and we can test it to see the result of it. So you can see the scene from here, I will make a region for the projector. And you can see the screen, the LED screen in the back. And if you want to talk about, and if you want for me to talk about it, just mention that in the comment box and I'll make a video for it. So now, as you can see, the projector that I made with the effect that I have. So now we will talk about it and I'll put the link of the model in the description so you can download it and use it. So I'll go for a new scene and I'll import the projector. I'll import it just like this and I'll put it in the zero zero axis just by pressing right click on the arrows here it will make it zero and zero so I'll convert everything to corona and I'll put a plane under it just like this to have this shortcut list just press ctrl and right click you can choose plane box or sphere from the geometry and arc rectangle circle line from the shapes so I will choose plane and make a plane just like this I'll move it a little bit like to here and I'll put a camera here just like this I'll change the aspect ratio for my render I'll put it 0 0.8 and I'll change this to 2k I'll make zoom okay from camera setting I will go and make an automatic vertical shift then I'll make my target higher a little bit just like this and we'll see now what we'll have if I press if I start the interactive in Corona you can we can see that the interactive is totally black because we don't have any light so I'll go to assign material for the projector as following so from material slot, I will choose a bitmap. I don't like to use Corona bitmap. So I just from general, I will use bitmap from here. And I'll use this material as the base. You can see the name of the material. It's the base and I'll drag it to bitmap here. 
okay and i'll assign it just like this you can see that my model is a little bit low poly geometry and i assigned the material for it after that i'll assign the bump for the bump i have a normal map so from here i will press on bump and i'll choose corona normal and from here i'll drag the corona normal to the image and i i have to press add gamma to input just like that and i'll fix a little bit the amount of the bump I'll go with half and for the roughness I'll put it in the reflection glossiness because in corona we don't have a section for roughness material and you can see that the material is imported here I'll go here for one and a little bit gray and I'll change this to 0 0.75 just like this okay first let me assign this as a black floor and I'll start the interactive and now you can see that my scene is totally black I don't have any light in the scene so how can I have the effect that that we saw previously in the other scene and I want the effect the light effect to show up here so I made this effect here so this time for the projector I will make the light from here from the advanced option and i'll choose the self illumination we will not spot any corona light nor disc nor rectangle just we'll make the light from the material itself with using the self illumination so if i add sorry if i start the interactive we can see that the scene is total black and from here the self illumination the color is white so if I increase the amount of the uh, sorry so if I increase the multiplier of the self illumination we can see that all of the projector become a light itself so we don't want to do that I'll go here for material and I'll choose bitmap and I'll import the bit the map that i already made and we can see now that only the map uh, sorry only the area that i wanted to be lighting up is lighting up from here so i'll go back and increase sorry i'll increase the multiplier from here as you can see and And I'll put a little disc above the lamp so you can see the floor or something I'll go for corona and I'll choose disc from here and I'll move it up just like this I'll increase it to 100 and make this okay and I can okay so I added another light here and I put a red light a red color for it to have this effect and now we can see the effect on the light area 
and if you asked why is my map is totally black and I put the light here not in the middle the answer of that is that the area that will cover this this place of the light is here so you don't need to make uh, any UVW map for it just assign it as it and it'll, it will take its place so the trick now is to change the setting of the bloom and glare to have a nice effect for the projector so I will go to enable bloom and glare and I'll increase the value or the multiplier of the bloom and glare so I will go for 5 let's make a region here nothing happened so I think we should increase the multiplier of the self illumination I will go to 10 or let's say 6 we can see now the glare of the light no, yeah okay I will go to 15 let's increase it a little bit just like this and I'll increase the glare to let's say 3 that's much better so 10 and I'll decrease this again to let's say 2 okay I'll make it 4 and I'll decrease this to 15 and this to 25 so you can adjust the value for the glare and the bloom as your scene as or as you want so I'll reduce this to 100 I'll increase the bloom to 50 just like this and from here you can rotate the glare angle so I think for example I will go to 45 and the angle of the glare has changed so we can go to 20 and I'm satisfied with this effect so if you noticed I add a small corona light for a red color just to make a contrast between the blue color here and to have a, a contrast with the red color so to change the color of the light itself we should go to the material that we put in the self illumination not in the diffuse section we'll go to the self illumination and choose the material from here and from bitmap we'll choose a color correction just like this and I'll choose to keep old map and I'll increase a little bit the saturation and from the who shift section you can move to change the color as you want so let's say I will take it to here you can see that our light changed to yellow just like this I think this will make it a little bit red or orange yeah it's red just like this you can move it as you want you can see the variation of the color this is yellow green blue purple and etc you can change the color directly from the 3ds max just by using color correction and have the effect that you want so I'll keep it as it is I'll not change it and I'll put that to render and I think that's all my friend 
Thank you so much for your watching. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate your messages and I love to talk with you. So I will be with you more and more in the upcoming weeks. Hope you like the hope you like the video. The link of the file will be in the description. You can download it and use it as you want. Thank you again and see you next time.